Uh, good morning on uh, this uh, lovely Monday morning where it looks like we're going to have four days of sunshine building up from about 22 today to 30, 32 on um, Wednesday, Thursday, which will be excellent. Then we've got some more rain coming. Um, so uh, it's a welcome change now. We're, we're starting to see the, uh, the spring come into uh, play. We're about a month late. At any rate, um, first of all, um, uh, condolences to Adam, uh, the loss of his dog. Um, he uh, passed away on his birthday. However, uh, I'm a great believer that uh, you don't mourn. What you do is you celebrate life. And, um, and to me, that was a double celebration for that day for, for um, Adam. Uh, it's, it's tough having to bury a friend. Um, however, it's such as life and things go on and uh, they don't, uh, the clock doesn't wait for anybody and we all go at one stage or another. And generally speaking, we can't even plan that. So all the best, Adam. Um, it's, uh, I know it's always going to be tough and probably even tougher when you walk past that tree every time and, um, and see the grave. But uh, hang in there, mate. We, um, we all love you and uh, all good. Anyway, today we'll get on with the, um, with the show. Uh, a short one. My friend uh, uh, Fred Alberts, I, um, I helped him get a, um, go from a little toy um, lathe up to a, um, a quite a large one uh, for his shop and it's become uh, another arm to him and it's a, it's a DSG, uh, Dean Smith and Grace. Uh, it came with a, um, uh, with a tra hydraulic tracer, uh, copier system on it. We took that off when we commissioned uh, the, the lathe. I, I put in a, um, a variable speed drive and uh, we helped out and, we, and he built a brake and a foot brake and all the rest. Anyway, recently um, he's been struggling with the cross slide um, binding up and uh, he asked me to come and have a look and to see if I can ascertain what the problem is. So to make a, a long story short, uh, I stripped the, the uh, um, the tool post off to so get rid of some of the weight, and uh, then pulled the um, uh, pulled the cross slide out uh, with the gib and the, and uh, and a, um, a shim that was behind the gib. Pulled it all apart. We washed it all up, and, and it was obvious to me uh, that uh, the problem was that he was having a lot of friction um, being produced by the fact that the um, tail the, that the cross slide was actually uh, sliding both on the, the normal slide area but also on what should be the relief um, and this was creating all sorts of pain. So what I've uh, done is I bought it home and I've set it up in the mill and I'm, um, I'm machining the, um, the cross slide. Now the section that, that actually runs on the bed um, on, on the, main, uh, the main body uh, I've taken off uh, uh, half a, a, a th um, sorry, five hundredths of a millimetre, and the section that should be relieved and not touch the the upper part of the <coughs> of of the of the machine, uh, I've uh, gone down two hundred um, down. Now, I roughed that out with a uh, with a, with a three uh, a three tip cutter. And I'm now finishing the job off with uh, one of Randy Richards' um, uh, dovetail cutters so that I can get in into the dovetail or to part of the dovetail that I need to uh, relieve. Um, so I'll show you that. And uh, because in the end, everything, uh, the, anything that causes a problem or, or breaks down or whatever, you need to get to the root cause in order to be able to ascertain what the what the issue is in front of you and what to do, so it's a pretty sad state the um, the the whole the that part the bed and the um, and the cross uh, section system. However, the the um, the screw is perfect. The the uh, bushes are, are perfect. It's being a Dean screw, Smith and Grace. It's not just one nut, but there's two nuts, so you can adjust it to get rid of the, um, so the second nut can actually adjust uh, for you to take out any backlash on the, on the cross slide, which is excellent um, arrangement. So you've got both the gib 
and you've got the, this uh, second nut, uh, adjustable nut. So we'll we'll do all we'll do all that, adjust all that up for him, so she, he goes for smooth sailing. All in all, what we're doing is first aid. It's not uh, we're not getting down to scraping or anything like that. That's a very uh, that's a very big job. But I'm going to first aid because you've got a lot of lathe work to do over the next couple of weeks. Uh, so I'll show you what I've done so far on the on the mill and um, and where we go from there. I'll just swing this camera around. Bring it forward. So hopefully you can see so. I've taken off, as I say, five hundredths of a millimetre just off here because you'll always get one section of the um, of the cross slide that'll wear more than the other and it's, in particular that's where uh, the pressure on that cross slide is. And so you can see here, uh, well I've done, I've done two runs, um, very, very smooth and, um, and it's run out here. I'm not going to do any more, that's, that's it. And the other side here, I haven't touched yet. And that's the side that's got some pretty deep... I'll turn the light on, see if you can see it. Pretty deep scoring down here. That, this one looked the same. And you can see how it's, it's really worn in this area. So that's what I'm trying to do, is just to bring that back enough that it can work on it. And down here, uh, in, in the, the dovetail area, I've, I've produced um, that, that 210... Uh, 200 of um, uh, of a millimetre to um, to be able to give that a little bit of relief because that's where it was binding as well. So if you had the friction of this area and this area uh, add, adding to it, so that was where his difficulty was. We can see there's all sorts of scoring here from, uh, from that, but I'm not going to relieve this section. This is the only section I need to worry about. The rest is clear. And these are the two holes where the two nuts uh, come in and come into play. Um, one of them, the adjusting nut, this one here, and this one just the standard nut that, um, that fits in. And those nuts, by the way, are aluminium. And then the gib goes into this section, oh, sorry, into this section here, which is the tapered part. So there you have it.